Joining us tonight, Harmeet Dillon, attorney, National Republican uh, uh, Committee, committee woman for the state of California. Harmeet, good to have you with us. The arrest in Sacramento of a, a man uh, who was obviously uh, a, a terrorist uh, for ISIS, for crying out loud. Coming in, it looks as though, under the terms of chain migration, uh, and uh, managing to stay here for some time. Your thoughts about ISIS being this successful and the likelihood that they've been successful in a lot of other places besides Sacramento? Absolutely, Lou. So what's concerning here is that this is one of about half a dozen incidents over the past three or four years of terrorists from Yemen, Syria, Iraq and others uh, in our Bay Area and in the, in the larger uh, California area. And the only reason this guy got caught is because the government of Iraq has an arrest warrant out for him and asked for him to be returned to their country and extradited. So what this tells me is that uh, terrorists and other wrongdoers are viewing the uh, state of California, which is a sanctuary jurisdiction, as a very fertile ground for them to apply uh, these trades of terrorism and recruit others, because we do not, here in California, uh, law enforcement does not cooperate with the federal government. And as a result, our California citizens and greater American community is unsafe because of that. A sanctuary state now with sanctuary cities, uh, and uh, they don't defend that border uh, with Nevada, with Arizona, uh, or, or, or the state of Oregon. Uh, they then very quickly, terrorists, if they do get in, uh, have access to the entire country. Uh, it, let, let's, let's turn to, uh, if we may, John Brennan. Uh, and okay. lifting his, current, his uh, security clearance and also the review by the administration, the president, uh, of the others. Uh, appropriate in your judgment or not? Overdue, um, Lou. The, the real question is, why did this guy have a security clearance at all in the first right. place? How did he become the head of the CIA with his kind of background? But, uh, you, you know, to recap, John Brennan is somebody who, during his tenure, oversaw giving billions of dollars to Iran, um, unmasking of American citizens. Uh, according to his own position, uh, Russian interference with our elections. And so, uh, I don't see why this guy should have had his security clearance for a minute longer than his duration in the Obama administration. But I think the president needs to actually have an objective policy that's applied across the board so it doesn't look like it's, you know, being slanted against his critics. There's really no reason for any of these people to have a well, security clearance once they leave the government unless there's some specific circumstances. Yeah, let me, I, I take what you're saying that uh, it would be, uh, in your judgment, easier sell to the left in particular. Uh, if there is a objective standard that would be a, 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 for groups. But the reality is, when you think about this, I, 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 to me it seems pretty incredible that the director of national intelligence, the head of the FBI, and the head of the CIA under President Obama worked as one to attack this president personally. And it appears they were doing so uh, very clearly in point of fact uh, uh, beneath, uh, you know, t tabula rasa, it was uh, without question a, a subversion effort on the part of the previous administration, or at least three, at least three of its officials. Uh, there should, there should be, uh, it seems to me, uh, far more than just security clearances uh, lifted here. No doubt. I mean, you know, Clapper lied to uh, Congress. Uh, there's a long host of uh, hostile acts against our current government, but even against the American people during the Obama administration. So definitely I hope that the DOJ, once it uh, you know gets the political will to do so internally, begins to investigate what was happening here and the fundamental rights of American citizens, not just Republicans, but a lot of American citizens being violated by these people.